little update video on the automatic tool changer on the Avid CNC. Now this is a dust shoe I have and I'm having a pneumatic um, driven lift so it lifts up out of the way for the ATC uh, but unfortunately this one that I made when it comes to the actual um, lift to get it in the way it bangs into the, the spindle bracket so I've got to redesign this um, to fit properly around that uh, that square bracket so I'm going to do the demo without the shoe fitted but you'll see the pneumatic piston lift at the right time so let's go I'm using a Masso G3 controller which means everything's contained in one I don't need a separate PC which is great so in the left hand cabinet I've got the Masso relay units and the stepper drivers and over on the other cabinet I've got all the power supplies so 48 volt supply for the steppers 24 and 12 and I've got a little 5 volt converter down there for the old 5 volt um, circuit and this little box is for a wireless pendant that's the receiver for it plenty of air flowing through the spindle is a 2.2 kilowatt Jankin Chinese automatic tool changer spindle, water cooled and pneumatic controls on it. So I now wish I'd gotten a 4 kilowatt or even a 6 kilowatt, but down the track I can do the same. I've run cable thick enough to be able to handle a higher powered unit anyway. So I'd only need to change the spindle itself and the bracket for it because the bigger unit's 100 mil. This is an 80 and a, and a uh, VFD as well. So this is a Masso screen and to do a tool change, it's telling us now that we've got tool one fitted. It's an end mill, 6.35 spiral up. So I'm gonna enter in here uh, to do a tool change. So we need T5 M6. Definitely got the right one now. Hit run, and the piston goes up, and away she goes. Puts tool one back. And puts the dust boot back down. So what I didn't mention was the tool rack that came in and out. So we'll do that one more time so you can see that. So the first thing it does is lifts the hood and it waits for the sensor light. There's a sensor light or a sensor saying that it's down and there's another sensor at the top. So it acknowledges that it's up, which is great. And then it moves the tool tray out at the back and then it'll move into position. So. Here we go. Up goes that. Moves into position. Moves the tray out. Puts that tool away. Moves out from the tray. Puts the tool away. And comes back to the original position. Puts the dust wood down. Brilliant. 